Before you toss your old cans, boxes, or papers, you have to wait and see this segment. It's pretty interesting. LKC Beautiful teaming up with Science Museum Oklahoma and holding this recycled art show. Danielle Dupuy is taking us there this morning. And Danielle, some of these creations, I just I can't wrap my mind around them. Oh, well, good morning, guys. This is so neat. I love this idea. We are using all recycled items to make some really neat art. And joining us this morning is Andrea. She's one of the artists who's going to be showing off her work starting next week. Uh, we are looking at some of your beautiful pieces of artwork here. Tell us a little bit about them. Um, well, these pieces are made of recycled pallet banding. I've woven them um, using a staple gun and some wood framing and just kind of hand woven them. Um, they're very heavy duty material. So when you combine many pieces of very strong material, they don't want to cooperate. So they were a bit <laughs> difficult compared to what I'm used to. Yeah. So. Well, let's talk a little bit about that because you used to work at Home Depot and this is where you got that pallet, um, what is it, pallet? Uh, pallet banding, pallet strapping. Yeah. Pallet tra and that's the thing is if you take a look at this, you can actually see, I mean, this is what people use to kind of hold together timber and um, all different types of stuff, right? Right, yeah. And very you, strong. you actually went into dumpsters to pick this stuff out, right? Right. They would, um, they would have trash in dumpsters and I would see the pallet banding and I thought, well, I can do something with that. And so I would save it and they would kind of make fun of me because they saw me dumpster diving. But um, I knew that eventually I would get around to making something with it. Well, where'd you get the inspiration to make this? Um, well, I've always been a weaver and an artist, so I've done basket weaving and um, loom weaving. So when I saw a material that was thin and pliable, I just immediately thought of weaving. Mm -hmm. Why was it important to use recycled items? Well, for one thing, it, it's free. Mm -hmm. But uh, another thing about it is that, um, you know, it, it kind of challenges people's expectations of fine art. You know, fine art doesn't always have to be made of traditional materials, expensive materials. Um, so that's kind of why I like to use Recycle. I love this idea. And you got to show everyone, too, your earrings because these are <laughs> gorgeous. Tell everyone about these earrings. Um, these earrings are made of recycled gift cards, like um, gift cards you would get at Starbucks or Hobby Lobby or Walmart even. Um, just about everywhere you go has gift cards. Yeah. And, you know, when you're done using them, most people throw them away. And um, instead of throwing them away, I like to create jewelry and even wall pieces. I've done a lot of wall pieces with them. I love them. I know when you and I first met, my eyes first went to your ear and said, like, these are so cute. I wonder where she got them from. <laughs> and this is when we found out she actually made them and they're old gift cards. So, yeah. so neat. Um, I know your work is going to be on display starting next Thursday. The opening, it's for free. It's next Thursday right here at Science Museum Oklahoma. Bring the kids out here. There's going to be a lot of student groups as well as adult artists who are going to be showing their artwork. And I know we we're kind of hiding this beautiful piece back here, but you also have to mention really quickly, tell us a little bit about some of the colors, because we see a lot of the black colors, but also you have beautiful colors in this piece. Well, um, actually most of the uh, palette banding that I came across was either black, white, or, or green, and a lot of it's green. But um, there were a few um, shipments of tile that came in where, you know, there was a pink, a lot of them had pink strapping, or I think this yellow strapping was from boxes of paper. And so you really are kind of limited by your color choices, but at the same time, when you're limited in one way, it forces you to you know, create in a different way than you're used to. So it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Well, Andrea, you're one of the most creative people I've met, that's Thank for you. sure. And good luck to you next Thursday. So Bill and Keisha, a lot of great artwork. You'll have to make sure to come to Science Museum Oklahoma. Once again, their opening night is next Thursday. And with that, guys, we'll send it back to you. Right. Thank you so much, Danielle. Well, it is 9.49 on the clock and we've got some